Guys, as I mentioned, football is back, and the first game of the season was earlier tonight right here in NBC. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Dallas Cowboys. And as you know, at the end of every season, they give out awards like most valuable player, but they also give out awards at the start of the season. Oh. I'll show you what I mean. It's time for tonight's show, Superlative. Not so superlative. Our first player from the Bucks is Rob Gronkowski. He was voted most likely to yell spring break in September. And you know what? Spring break somewhere. Yeah. Next up for the Cowboys is Leighton Van Der Esch. Uh, he was voted most likely to have neck day at the gym. <laughs> neck day, bro. Can you spot my, spot my neck? Next up from the Bucks is Vita Vea. He was voted most likely to say his own name like the Little Caesars guy. Vita Vea. Vita Vea. Vita Vea. Vita Vea. Except for the Cowboys is C.D. Lamb. He was voted most likely to prank calls with the fake name C.D.'s Nuts. Yeah. Pizza for... What caller ID? Uh, next up from the Bucks is Grant Stewart. Oh. He was voted most likely to do a touchdown dance to Kenny G's Songbird. <laughs> next up from the Cowboys is Demarcus Lawrence. He was voted most likely to say, you better watch out, I'm wearing my football glasses. <laughs> Next up from the Cowboys is Connor Williams. He was voted most likely to reply, I didn't eat any gummies to any question you ask him. <laughs> Next up from the Bucks, we have Leonard Fournette. He was voted most likely to have a magnetic beard. <laughs> don't sneeze, don't sneeze. And finally, we have the quarterback of the Bucks, Tom Brady. He was voted most likely to lose a Super Bowl ring, and so, eh, I'll get a new one. Uh, there you go. Those are your NFL superlatives. Pick.